What's up guys, it's your boy Milad coming to you with a new vlog because it's a new day. I wanted to make an announcement and say I'm going to be putting up three vlogs every single week and I know you guys are going to hold me accountable to that. This vlog channel has been doing rather well, well better than I thought it would have so let's keep it going and let's keep everything going well. Yeah, every vlog's been pretty good so far. I've been getting positive comments and it just makes me feel good. So I was thinking, why not put up three vlogs a week? I don't do that much in the week to vlog all of it, but um, I was thinking, I could entertain you guys. I could find things to talk about. I could do things that will don't require me to go out and like have fun. And I don't know what is up with my hand right now, but yeah. Some of you may be wondering, when am I going to be putting up these vlogs, but there's actually no set date, and some of the vlogs might actually consist of two days, three days, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to be, like, experimenting, and I almost tripped over something, so you would have seen me die on camera, but it would have been for YouTube, so it's all good, right? All right, I just got out of the house right now because it was very scary in there. I was, I was like, you know what? I, I woke up like... I'm gonna go downstairs, have a real good breakfast, head out to the gym, have a good workout today. I come downstairs, you know what I see? Krispy Kreme. If you guys don't know what Krispy Kreme is, it's practically the best donut out there ever. So you guys need to try that. But that's my kryptonite right there. I was like, you know what? I booked it upstairs, changed my clothes, ran out the house, and now I'm about to head out to the gym so that I can eat it after. I know that's not good either, but I'd rather eat, go to a gym and have a good workout than eat it and then like fall asleep at the gym because junk food screws me up at the gym. It really does. All right, so story time. Last night, or even this morning it counts also, I watched two movies back to back. If you guys haven't done that before, or don't do it. <laughs> It's not fun. It really fried my brain watching two movies. These two movies were like, one of them was two and a half hours long. The other was two hours long. So yeah, that did not feel good. But I watched two pretty good movies. I watched two completely different movies. I watched the last song, which is like a romance movie. And yeah, I, I'll come back to it in a second. And then I watched Gone Girl, which is completely opposite. Like a romance thriller. This was like... All like, oh my god, I, I thought I was going crazy watching this. But yeah, the last song, when I finished watching it, I was like, oh, I want to fall in love. I was about to hit up my mom like, yo, mom, find me a girl to marry right now. And then I watched the um, Gone Girl and I was like, you know what? I'm going to background check everyone that comes into my life from now on. So yeah, that's it's two completely different movies. I can't even tell you which one's better because one is like... Um, it's like apples and oranges. It's not even apples and oranges. One's like peaches and the other is like a treadmill. That's how different these two are. They're not even like in the same category at all, even though they're both like love type of movies. But if you're looking for a movie to watch, watch both of them. It's, it's not bad. They're, I like them both. Last song, if you're like a, like a tough guy, like, ooh, I'm a tough guy, you probably won't like that. So, I, I like watching like romance types of movies and stuff, I'll admit it. I am not going to lie to you guys and say, oh yeah, I'm a man, I only watch like bodybuilding movies. No, I'm going to be real. So, back to the Krispy Kreme. I am, I can't wait till I have that Krispy Kreme in my mouth. And it's amazing. I'll, I'll bring you guys along one the next time I go. I'll show you guys the process of how they make these donuts. And it's like phenomenal. But yeah. So my friend texted me. She was like, yo, so you're about to go to a gym before you have one of those awesome donuts. And I'm like feeling like regret right now. Because I want one of the donuts. And But you know, it's better when you work for it. Because then I feel like it's a reward. And then, and then if I had it before, I would have been like, yo, I didn't deserve this. And... Ooh, what's up guys I'm feeling amazing feeling good just finished my workout did legs and back today if you guys aren't doing anything right now get up go on YouTube if you don't have a gym go on YouTube search up a workout do that right now even if it's a five minute ab workout go and do it because I promise you you'll feel better for the rest of the day I feel amazing right now about to drink my protein shake go get some gas and see what the rest of the day brings me yeah Hey, look at this gorgeous Porsche right here. That's life goals right there. That's what we do it for. That's what we work hard for. We work hard for those cars. Props to him. Ooh, Tesla right there. Oh, another Tesla right there. 
damn, Teslas are gorgeous. I need one. I need one in my life. Well, I don't need one, but I want one. I'm gonna work hard for it. We got this. We all gonna work hard. Just work hard and you'll get what you want in life. That's how it works. That's a formula for success. And believe, believe in yourself. Okay, I got a little carried away there, but yeah, just know, you know the message. Work hard, be motivated, and believe you can accomplish anything. Don't listen to what the naysayers say. Forget about them. They're not doing anything with their life. Oh my God. This is a joke. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my God. Oh my God. So much, so many people waiting in line. I don't even know I'm laughing right now. Crazy. This is how you know your leg workout was good. When your foot starts twitching when you're driving. It feels so weird right now. $3.58 for gas? I don't know how I feel about that. I'm filling up the beast right now. Go up, the gallons go up quicker than the sales. I mean, the gallons need to start going up quicker than the sales. Uh, it's the most painful process to fill out gas. I came back home and I'm alone and I've only had one thing on my mind. Crispy cream. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Mmm. This is the moment where all the people who aren't watching the video but hear the audio are gonna trip out. Mm. How you gonna leave me alone at home with a box filled with donuts? You know damn well that box is gonna be empty by the, by like the next five minutes. Mm, 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 mm. I'm such a mess. <sighs> Wondering why I'm sweaty. I got home after those Krispy Kreme donuts. I felt like trash. So I told myself I'm gonna go on YouTube. I'm gonna go do a workout. And I feel amazing right now. I'm breathing like crazy. But it was worth it. My hair is all over the place. I'm about to take a nice, cold, warm shower right now. If you guys don't know who to search up on YouTube to find a good workout, this is the guy I look to. His name is Brandon Carter. Ooh, dude had some. I did an ab workout and a cardio workout from him. He is, uh, I like his channel because he's got like four minute videos and five minute videos. So they're real quick and you got no excuse not to do them. At first I was like, okay, I'm gonna do my ab workout with him. And I saw a cardio video on the side and I'm like, you know what? But I'm gonna burn these donuts out. It's exactly what I did. Remember, work hard, work hard. So I've come across a problem right now. My hands have disappeared. So I'm on the search right now on this steep slope in a white shirt, white shoes, and I feel like I'm a roll down die. Oh, where the hell are they? I think they jumped over to, yeah, that's the only possible way. They hope, I don't know. Oh, they probably jumped over the fence. I don't know, they like going down this direction. Let's see, maybe. Find these little chicken hand shits. Driving me crazy. I swear this isn't the first time they've skipped out of here. I don't even know how long they've been out for, to be honest with you. Been out for a while. They probably like ditched like a couple hours ago. So this is gonna be a tough find right now. There's so many bushes everything around here I don't know how the hell I'm gonna find out my dad's down there at the bottom of the hill <sighs> but I mean they didn't like being confined to a backyard and uh, I guess it's for the best that they leave but I mean it actually made me think a little bit about um confinement and restriction like the worst thing you could do to someone is restrict them or confine them and that's like it made me like come at peace with the hens leaving because it's like 
why would anyone want to be confined or restricted to a certain area like i feel like the world's like that too we confine each other we restrict each other to doing certain things and we say certain things are not possible when they actually are it's all in your beliefs of what is possible and what isn't you're the only person that can restrict yourself so one thing i ask you guys to do is open up your cage and be free do what you want do what you feel is best for you become the strongest version of yourself as i search for these little hands out here what's up guys thank you guys for following me along on my day don't forget to hit the thumbs up button or thumbs it down if you guys didn't like the video hit the subscribe button leave a comment below positive negative doesn't matter to me but you know what i like the most positive energy positive vibes so keep it going keep it going hope y'all are having a wonderful day don't forget to check out my main channel link in the description don't forget to check out my other vlogs thank y'all for watching peace it's pretty, it's so, no, it's pretty It's heavy. spicy, it's pretty, but it's not. No, it's like really spicy this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, I don't feel anything.